What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I, I tell you what, I, you all know I have an affinity for old houses, and um, this is magnificent. I mean, I look at the cows out in the field. Just laying out there, you got the wind that's blowing, the grass is getting green, the trees are beginning to bud up, so they're going to be, look at this, look at that. You got the buzzards up here circling, waiting for me to croak, and I've got a house that's almost 200 years old that I'm working on. I am literally in heaven in here, and it takes me away from all the troubles I have. You know, um... Sometimes in life, you got to get out your comfort zone and do things a little bit differently. In fact, you ought to. Don't do everything the way everybody else does stuff. You have to be the one that's looking for the next big thing. And the thing that's kind of interesting is, is 90% of new ideas fail. But the 10% that make it, those are the difference makers in life. I've actually gotten to the point where this is kind of crazy uh, for me, is you want to get out of your comfort zone. It's real easy to just kind of kick back and do things the way they are and so on, but sometimes you need to hear a different point of view. And the wind's blowing now through here, so it's probably a little more. Um, i tell you what, I've got this piece of cement for it. I've got to put it on the floor. I'm just going to do the tile here real quick today, the rest of it in this bathroom, and head on out. Then Monday I can come through and go out and put the bathroom back together. So I'm just going to be here for a couple hours. So let's go on inside, and I'll finish this where we're not in the wind. Say hello to my little friend, Michael Anthony Fitness. Don't hate, don't, don't hate, hate, don't win. That's right. Shout out to my wife coming up with that. So I was saying outside in the wind about getting outside of your comfort zone. And by that, I mean going through and listening to Dan Cilio. He is kind of silly, yo. He is kind of silly, yo. But he was doing an interview with um, Dave Wonstadt. And I started thinking about how good Dave Wonstadt was with the Cowboys. You know, and see, when I do stuff, I like to relate it to things in life that are going on. So, what I've learned with working with the Red Brick House is, back in the day, they didn't couldn't just go to Home Depot and get what they needed. You had to make do with what you had because there weren't any stores that were close by. A lot of times, you had to reuse what you had or you had to innovate to make something work. And so, when you hear... Everybody's got the fantasy football mentality, you know, uh, just trade them and get a new one in here and just start all over. It's just that easy. But see, we had great coaching because like Tony Wise, it wasn't that the Cowboys just drafted first round offensive linemen. They took Nate Newton, who was cut by the commanders and playing in the USFL and made him a great offensive lineman. They took guys that were drafted, you know, late in the draft, six-round draft picks. They took Mark Tuane, who was a defensive tackle, and made him an offensive tackle. The coaching figured out ways to make things work. And see, here we have talent. This is what kills me is we have talent, and everybody just says, oh, they're trash. Just trade them. And I don't understand that mentality. I don't understand how you look at it and just say, we can just find somebody else because finding talent, that's the hard part. What you need is to have coaches that can coach talent. Because we're literally talking about taking people with less talent and thinking that we're going to be okay when we got a problem with coaching. Here's the thing. If you can't coach the talented ones, top talent in the NFL, to be successful, what makes you think that you're going to be able to take lesser talent and be more successful? Is that making sense to you? I, I mean, th this is the mentality that we have. Is well, if you had good coaching, 
Well, that's when the coaching matters. Because you can take less than talent with a good coach. That's where coaching matters. And so that's my whole thing here is I don't understand. Everybody's just ready to just blow things up and just start over and get lesser talent. And then thinking about what Dan was saying about the coaches and watching that interview with Dave Wanstead and realizing that the innovations that we used to have, we had guys that used to think outside of the box and guys like Dave Wanstead and things. And Jerry Jones, who was the maverick. Okay, no, he was. He did things differently than the way they were being done. He was the first one to get those um, those advertisements. Right, yeah, well, he was. That were outside the NFL. But see, now it makes sense why he hired Mike Zimmer. And it goes back to what he used to do of always hiring from within. It's his comfort zone. What about Jimmy Johnson? Why did he bring him on board? Well, again, that's going back to nostalgia of, you know, he hired Mike Zimmer when he had, um, uh, damn, what's his name? After, that was Barry back, Switzer. Yeah, after the okay. 2000s. And so he looks back on that, and, and the way Dan kind of put it, oh God, I, I don't want to say that, oh, Lord, that Dan is wise, is very wise. I don't want to, I don't want to say good things about Dan Cilio. Because he talked about me being in my mama's basement and stuff, okay? I, I don't want... You're making me do this on a weekend. But he was saying, Jerry Jones opines for his nostalgia of what it used to be. And that's why he hires. And it makes complete sense why he hires all the people from the past. Because that's when things were good. Lordy. Twiz, it's your fault, buddy. All this is your fault. You got me talking good about Eagle content creators. Well, I mean, like behind it is not a bad person. Oh, he calls me Frito now. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> okay. but that's okay, that's an inside joke between you and Philly. No, Frito as in like the mafia Frito. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. That's like that's, that's between you and Philly. He's he's still good people. He just he just don't like the Cowboys. Yeah. Well, we're putting down. Uh, th this is one of those things that this gets to be hard because it's a small space to try and lay the tile. Have to cut. I would rather do a, a, a twelve by twelve room than to do all of the cutting that you have to yeah, do. Yeah, because you have two more pieces. You can put four tiles. The rest of it's cut. You know, when you start trying to cut up underneath of all these and around the tub where it's round and around the toilet here and stuff, I never get the easy jobs. But then again, I guess that's why they call me the thuck up fixie. That's why he's yeah. telling for you. Is that what it is? Okay. Because it's a specialty that you only do. All right, I got to go cut some more towels and I'll be back. Peace.